Christianity traced all the way back to Ethiopia. Dated back to two women who lived 200,000 years ago. Right. Now, if it dates back to two women who lived 200,000 years ago, what does that tell us? That tells us that our species is older than 200,000 years. We can simply date it back to this point, but undeniably, the species is older than that. Humanity is older than that. These conclusions, especially this genetic evidence, has come out over the course of the past 30 years or so. And as you can see with the fossil evidence, that has come out about the last 100 years, about the last 100 years or so. However, the claim that humanity originated in Ethiopia was made back in the early 1920s. It was made by this woman right here, one of our greatest scholars ever, who hasn't received the attention that she deserves. Her name was Drusilla Dungey Houston. And in her classic book, Wonderful Ethiopians of the Ancient Kushite Empire, she said, the Ethiopian is a great race, probably the oldest. Also, Ptolemaic writers said that Egypt was formed of the mud carried down from Ethiopia, that Ethiopians were the first men that ever lived, the only truly autochthonous race. The only truly autochthonous race. What does autochthonous mean? That means spring forth from the earth didn't have to migrate from some other place. Well, Grimaldi was found in Europe 43,000 years ago. What you see here to the right is Cro-Magnon man. This Cro-Magnon fossil was found 28,000 years ago. The significance of Grimaldi is that anthropologists Paleontologists generally would agree that Grimaldi was African. And when I say African, I mean phenotypically African. Lean, slender, with curly hair, and pigmentation. Versus Cro-Magnon, who had none of these things. So what happened then in Europe during this time period? Why would, why would Grimaldi mutate into Cro-Magnon? Right. And that's where we're going to go next. Also, look at this peculiar feature right here. You see this? People usually associate this with Asians. These are called uh, epicanthal folds, what we call chinky eyes for the most part, but they're called epicanthal folds. Now I'm going to tell you something that you may not know. And epicanthal folds did not originate with Asians. Epicanthal folds originated with Africans. 